After Godzilla King of the Monsters proved successful at the American box office, ABPT Pictures obtained the rights to its sequel, Godzilla Raids Again, with the intention of giving it the same treatment. Titled The Volcano Monsters, the plan was to use only the special effects scenes from Raids Again and film all new footage with American actors that would be placed around it to create an all new story about a pair of dinosaurs that are brought back to San Francisco, where they would break free and do battle. However, before production could begin, ABPT Pictures went out of business, after which the rights to Raids Again were acquired by new financiers, and the original plan was scrapped in favor of a quick dub with minimal modifications. The result was the bizarrely titled Gigantus the Fire Monster, a lackluster version of an already lackluster movie that makes it even more of a chore to sit through. As pilots Shoichi Sokioka and Koji Kobayashi are out hunting for schools of fish, malfunctions force them to set down on a nearby island, where they come across two massive creatures fighting each other to the death. They report their findings to the authorities in Osaka, who determine that the two are fire monsters from a prehistoric time, one named Gigantus, the other Anguilas. Soon the creatures make landfall in Osaka, where they continue their fight until Gigantus kills Anguilas, leaving Japan and the world to figure out what to do with the surviving monster. Unlike Godzilla King of the Monsters, which was a relatively respectful and entertaining Americanization of the Japanese classic, Gigantus the Fire Monster is neither respectful nor entertaining, lazy in a way that only heightens the flaws of the original. It begins with an utterly irrelevant prologue, featuring cheesy narration commonly found in American monster movies at the time, that has nothing to do with the actual plot of the movie. Get used to the narration, because it never stops. The film continues to use voiceover narration as a crutch, way more than Godzilla King of the Monsters Instead of heightening what's occurring on screen, it explains everything in exhaustive detail, to the point where you could confuse it for an audiobook as opposed to a movie. This problem is exacerbated by a very poorly translated and implemented dub, made worse by nonsensical dialogue that was terrible even by the standards of the time. Characters make illogical statements that oftentimes are inconsistent with previous statements. It's a confusing mess that extends even to the monsters themselves. For some reason, Godzilla is renamed Gigantus, except for the times where the characters confuse the two and he is called Angulus. Perhaps one could forgive the characters for this mix-up given that the film also replaces Godzilla's roar with Angulus's, supposedly to remove any connections to Godzilla. And yet, despite all this effort, the film still includes footage from the original film, further adding to the confusion. He could lift up in his jaws an entire train car and swing it as though it were a toy, dropping it to earth with awful consequences. Also gone is Masaru Sato's score, replaced with stock music from older American monster movies. This makes Gigantus the Fire Monster feel more like a cheesy American B-movie, and in doing so strips away any of the nuance the original Godzilla Raids Again had. While that movie has its issues, there was a quiet dignity to it that even its biggest detractors had to admit. Gigantus, however, is just another monster movie, and a very bad one at that. All of its problems stem from it being an obvious rush job of a dub. Very little effort was put into translating the story for American audiences, making it very confusing and nonsensical. It's ironic, actually. For all the changes that were made in its predecessor, Godzilla King of the Monsters still maintained the core of the story. It made sense, it flowed, and in some cases, the changes made even enhanced certain elements. It added to the mythos of the Godzilla franchise, and for that, it has value. There is no value to Gigantus the Fire Monster. All it does is detract, and for that, it is utterly worthless outside of the context of history. Watch it if you're curious or want to laugh at the ineptitude, but otherwise just stick to the original. For more reviews and opinions on all things Godzilla, subscribe and stay tuned to Up From The Depths. Ah, uh, banana oil.